Hello and welcome back to Scallywag's Balloon Tutorials. Now today we are going to start with a really simple balloon. We are going to make a balloon sword and this is generally seen as a pirate balloon sword because of the cutlass here. So start with your balloon pump you'll need and one balloon that you like the colour of. Any balloon you like. I think I will go for, let's go for purple today. So make sure you've got your balloon and you're going to stretch it out nice and wide. The trick is not to be too frightened of the balloon because it cannot really do anything to you. Okay, so if it pops, so what? It makes a bit of a noise. Now pop the balloon on the end of the pump. Gently, try not to make a hole in the material. And then you're going to pump. Now the trick is not to pump it all the way to the end. Now I need a bit more than this, so I'm gonna keep going. But make sure you keep an eye on the end of the balloon whilst you're pumping it up so that you don't put too much air in. Now for this particular one, we don't need too much spare. So I probably just keep, let's say, two or three fingers worth that hasn't got air in at the end. Okay, and then, I'll, oh, whoops, it's lazy. Then I want to make a nice knot in the end of it. Okay, like that. Then we were gonna make just one twist here. Okay, the trick is, if you were to let go now, it would undo. But what you need to do is to create a fix so that it stays. So I'm gonna fold the balloon back and make a loop there. So all I did was fold it and make a loop. I put my fingers around that spot there and I will just twist. Now, don't be worried at all. Balloons are much stronger than you might. Think. So you're gonna twist, 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 maybe five or six times to make sure it doesn't come undone. So now you have this funny shape. Now, you're going to now have to make the trickiest bit of this balloon. So we're going to make three bubbles. So first of all, twist one. Now again, if you let go, it will come undone. But if you can keep one hand around it and then put another finger on the next bubble and another finger on the next bubble, you see I've got three in my hands here, keeping the twists going up here. Then I'm going to take the pointy end of the sword through the loop that I made at the beginning and you see very quickly you end up with your cutlass. Now this looks a bit messy so I like to take the bit that where we started and wrap it around to tidy it up a little bit. And you might find that one of these comes untwisted and you can quite easily twist it back into position. Now to straighten it out and make sure it's perfect to be played with, you can push some more of the air along to the end of the balloon like so. And then you have your perfect cutlass and sword. Well done. See you next time.